smaller, even though Mikey's a good fighter and never lost before. You just expect certain things, especially you just destroy Peterson, you know? Right. Now, if you did that to him, it's like, oh. But it was like, okay, it's like you see something here that you could work with. It's not really what people are saying, you know what I mean? So to me as a fighter. Right, so based off that experience, you would say the Errol Spence and Sean Porter fight is 50-50 in your eyes. I, I, would, I would give, I think it's a 50-50 fight, but I would give Spence the, the slight favor just because he's fresher. Yeah. You know, Porter's been around, like we've been around, like we've been fighting each other, like all right. So Spence is a little bit, uh, but like I said before, I'll get Spence an edge, but both of them throw a lot of punches. Both of them are physically strong. Spence is just a strong, he hits harder, that's it. But I think style-wise, it's gonna. I think it's gonna be a good fight. I think Danny, it's gonna be. You brought up Errol's last performance, but Sean's last performance was also, yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of questions that came out of that. A lot of people felt that Ugas actually won the fight, a big majority. Um, what do you take from that fight? Did you happen to catch that fight first? Yeah, time? I watched it. And uh, what'd you make of that, of that performance? Of Sean Porter and uh, Jordan Sugas. I thought it was a close fight, but I, I thought he won. You thought you thought Sean won? Yeah, I thought Porter won. I thought Porter won by. It could have went either way, but I thought he won. So, so no, it, was, it was close enough for you to say it could have gone either way. Yeah, I, they were both busting each other up. It was a good fight. It could have went either way.